Good morning, uh, everyone. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Diogo Pereira Duarte. I teach here at the Lisbon School of Law. Uh, I'm here on behalf of the Research Center for Private Law of the Lisbon School of Law to make the opening of this conference on fintech uh, regulation and the license licensing principle. I would like to thank you all for being here and particularly to our speakers, our guest speakers, who are by all means to be credited by the enormous interest in this initiative, which led to more than 300 enrollments to attend uh, the conference. Uh, I would like to thank also our partners and associates. First of all, the European uh, Banking Institute, who is co-chairing this conference uh, with us and especially to Professor Christos Gortzos for the interest and the support uh, in this initiative uh, since the very beginning. I would like to thank the uh, Bank of Portugal and the Portuguese Securities uh, Commission for attending the conference uh, at an institutional level and allowing us academics and uh, market practitioners to understand the fundamental perspective of regulators and supervisors. And finally, I would like to thank to, uh, the Portugal Fintech Association, uh, who is, since the very beginning, one of the most trusted partners in all fintech-related uh, uh, events. On a personal note, I would like to thank Professor Dario Mora Vicente for the scientific coordination and my colleague uh, Catarina Granadeiro uh, for dealing very efficiently with the complex <laughs> and very time-consuming organizational aspects uh, of uh, this conference. Uh, the Research Center for Private Law, CIDP, is a research unit of the Lisbon School of Law who aims to study uh, Portuguese and European private law in several topics. And today's conference regards to our line of investigation, uh, private law in the digital era, uh, which is uh, a line uh, of investigation coordinated by Professor Dario Moravicel. In recent times, several uh, fintech operators, mostly startups, operating in gray areas of the law, uh, and sometimes, uh, sometimes in unregulated areas, started to offer innovative uh, services and products in areas uh, which would be traditionally occupied by authorized and heavily regulated entities like banks, investment companies, and insurance companies, causing the so-called unbundling effect of incumbents or traditional market participants. And this innovation led to the emergence of new marketplaces and channels of distribution, uh, new financial services and products, with several benefits to consumers, to investors, in terms of lowering costs and uh, in terms of user experience, but also sometimes uh, caused the emergence of uh, new risks. Besides, uh, this innovation uh, led to the appearance of new and somehow uh, still untested strategies of cooperation between regulated entities, uh, the incumbents, and unregulated uh, entities, the, fin the, the fintechs, uh, highly uh, grounded on outsourcing arrangements. Uh, and all of these caused several challenges to the traditional licensing principle uh, that we can find in the uh, financial uh, sector uh, legislation. After uh, reaching uh, historical hikes in the end of last year, the market in crypto assets reached uh, the so-called crypto winter in the turmoil of the ter Terra Luna uh, event. Uh, all of these uh, giving cause for regulators uh, and uh, regulation. Besides, uh, several notorious uh, hackings and uh, exploitation of bugs uh, also make clear that the wider use of blockchain in the financial uh, services shall be accompanied with legal certainty in relation to the framework applicable 
to smart contracts and uh, strong uh, operational uh, resilience. All of these points in the sense that uh, fintech regulation will expand from areas already covered to uh, new areas and uh, this relaunches the, the debate on how should be designed uh, fintech regulation uh, to assess the risks, evidently, but also uh, not to jeopardize uh, innovation. And to discuss these topics, we assemble uh, today uh, conference. I hope you enjoy the conference. I, I hope this conference uh, can be useful. Um, and without further ado, I will ask Katarina to make the presentation, uh, the introduction of, of the first panel of, of uh, speakers. Thank you so much.